An estimated 50,000 pro-Palestinian protesters called for a ceasefire in Gaza as they marched through Sydney CBD yesterday. And that followed a pro-Israel vigil at a separate location where Jewish leaders told a crowd of thousands there will be no ceasefire until all hostages are released. Pro-Palestine rallies have taken place in Sydney each week since the conflict began, but this is the largest by far. A Palestine flag about 50 metres long is laid on the ground for people to write messages of support for those suffering inside the Gaza Strip. What did you write on the, on the flag? We're not here to supporting only one side. Everyone in the world, we have to stop that bad system. Like this. We have to stop the war. Otherwise, who's going to win? There are many families here, children with fake blood on their faces. They had prams uh, with baby socks and baby bibs with splattered blood, baby effigies wrapped up in sheets with blood on them. Very confronting to see that in, in the heart of Sydney. They prayed Allah. and then they marched in their thousands, guided through the blocked off streets by police. They want a ceasefire in Gaza. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese supports genocide, they chant. We were not welcome. You're here trying to, trying to create discord amongst people. You're here trying to say to people that what is happening here is against humanity. And yet we're the ones that are calling for humanity. Earlier in Sydney's east at the Entertainment Quarter, 5,000 pro-Israeli supporters turned out in the heat for a prayer vigil. It's the anti, the Jew hatred, the, an, the rise in anti-Semitism that we're seeking comfort in large part from each other, which we shouldn't really have to do. Security and police were in their hundreds and prayers for the safe return of hostages still held captive by Hamas inside Gaza were sometimes drowned out by a police helicopter flying overhead. There are more than 200 people and their families are so desperate to know how they are. Also in attendance were representatives from the seven countries that had citizens abducted in the October 7 Hamas attack. There's a very simple way to resolve this conflict by uh, asking Hamas to lay down their arms and live peacefully. With little hopes of peace or a meaningful ceasefire in the Middle East, demonstrations like this in cities here and around the world are only growing louder. Kenny Heatley, Sky News, Sydney.